Hello everyone, I have your IP address, and today we will be finding the best character using bots. Whoever survives the longest will be deemed the best character once and for all. Starting with Wilson vs Society. Everything is set to lots, and we'll just see how well he can survive in a world like that. Oh hey Maxwell, you might wanna look at all this stuff around you. I, I got bigger problems than nighttime, you know? Alright. There's already... No, I'm sure that was nothing. If I just click continue, we can get back in the world. Alright, go bot. Okay, this time it's working. There's a bunch of rooks everywhere. Including hound mounds, but... He'll be fine, I think. He's gathering the optimal resources. He has enough resources for a torch. He's playing... Why? He's playing the game as optimally as possible right now. In the hardest world ever created. Although he is currently being chased by beasts, but he did get a few gears. But unfortunately for Wilson, everywhere he goes, there's something that wants to chase him. I wonder will he try fighting back if he gets an axe? Oh god. <laughs> that was an unlucky lightning strike. There's some vault cold milk on the floor. Oh, oh no. Is this the end? Uh oh. Well, Wilson died to his only weakness, the lake. Okay, let's make this interesting. The Wilson bot died immediately. So is Willow a better character than Wilson? Can she survive longer than the idiot Wilson AI? So far, it looks like she's doing better. She's not really running into many threats, although there is a bishop chasing her. No, it's not chasing her, actually. Yeah, everything isn't attacking her for some reason. She's magically avoiding all the danger. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Willow was not taking this damage lightly. In fact, she crashed the game. Wolfgang! He's like strong, right? I mean, his first move was picking flowers, so maybe he's not the smartest guy. But he can survive longer than 60 seconds, right? I feel like Wolfgang is trying to escape spawn, to escape the danger, but little does he realize that the danger is everywhere. The entire world is like this. You can't escape from it. He just ate a flower to regain health. Okay, he gained two extra health. He regained the health that he lost. I don't know what his plan is. Why is he picking flowers and then... Why... No, you don't do that. Stop eating flowers. M maybe I shouldn't complain about this guy. He is lasting the longest. He hasn't taken too much damage, so that makes me feel like he knows what he's doing. What is he doing? The bot's supposed to be gathering resources, or at least trying to, but Wolfgang here is just exploring the map. He's not really going towards anything in particular. Why are you going back here now? Wait, he's doing the strategy. Yeah. If he just loads a bunch of stuff, everything is gonna kill each other, then he can safely survive. That might be what he's doing. Look, that beefalo just died. No more danger. Oh, he, he pissed off that vault coat, though. Oh, no. Oh, he's about to die. He still survived the longest than anyone else, though. And he didn't crash the game. Uh-oh, is he gonna... C you idiot. You absolute idiot. So Wolfgang died in a very stupid manner, but he did get the furthest out of any character. So let's see if Wendy can beat that. Also, I think this is like the worst character so far, because there's no way she's gonna drop the Abigail flower. So she's not gonna get any use of Abigail. Actually, let's help the bot, you know what? Let's just drop the flower. She picked it back up. No. You're not meant to do that. Drop it. And then Abigail will spawn. Okay, Abigail did not spawn. You could argue I interfered with that run, which is why Wendy died so fast. But may I bring your attention towards Wix? If he can figure out that he can eat gears, then this man will be unkillable. So far, he is gathering as much resource as possible. He's not running that much. He's getting the rook to attack that vault coat. He is doing all the top tier strategies. He got the rook to kill the vault coat. Wait, he just... He just got lightning strike. Now he has extra speed. Okay, Wix is overpowered in this world. I'm pretty sure lightning also heals him. And he... There's some gears. He can eat those. Yeah, lightning just heals him. <laughs> it's gonna be very hard for Wix to die. And he knows that he can eat gears. 
When they said that robots would take over society, I think this is what they meant. They're literally unkillable now. He dodged that bishop bolt. He made a science machine. This is the furthest anyone's been able to progress. He's just tanking the bishop. See, he gets the health back. He doesn't care. Why should he care about the bishop? He has enough health to tank him. Never mind. Wix definitely had a good chance there, but I think his cockiness let him down. But now we have Wickerbottom, the brains, the master of the don't starve any percent speedrun category. So far I think the optimal strategy is to just stand still and not do anything, because then at least everything will kill each other for you. But I don't think any of the bots have figured this out. Yeah, Wickerbottom just triggered a beehive, why did you do that? You, you almost ran into a rook, that's the equivalent of going on the street and getting ran over by a truck. You need to look both ways. Oh, she found- Oh my god. Wickerbottom is fighting stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> she is not taking the world shit. She will destroy all of this stuff. <laughs> Wait, is she kiting? Well, kind of. It's half kiting. She ran into the rook and crashed the game. Well done. Okay, it's time for Canada Man himself. Everyone sit down. He's not messing around. He starts with an axe. He just dodged that rook. Oh my god, that is some fast shopping speed. I'm surprised he's not trying to fight anything with his axe. But that's also a smart idea, so... I guess he is intelligent after all. He might just be the smartest bot of them all. Because he's from Canada. And that means he's given God mode by clay themselves. Okay, Woody's in a relatively safe position. He's managed to avoid a lot of the danger. And now we can pick all these resources in safety. Yeah, this area is really safe. Everything just died. The biggest problem is like the rain and the lightning strikes. But he has yet to take any damage. He's doing a no-hit run. Oh, nah, that was very stupid, Woody. You just lost your run. But he does have wood and gears. Oh. I guess violence is wrong. He got punished by God for trying to attack that hound. Oh, he, he's, he wants to kill that hound, though. He has a personal problem with that dog. But also he doesn't, because he's now running away. Yeah, I really have no idea what his plan is. It's surprisingly quiet now. The forest just burned out and it looks like this area is completely empty. Wait, Woody might actually make it further than Wix, who is supposed to be the overpowered character for this specific world. Yeah, why is he so safe? He, he, okay, so this might look like a stupid move, but I think this is actually the biggest play in this game. You see, this area is completely safe and he knows this, so he purposefully got himself stuck between the lake and the tree, so he could survive until nighttime safely, and thus becoming the best character because he can survive the longest in this world. This is the most intelligent play I have seen the bot ever do. I guess Woody just won. <laughs> he, he outplayed everyone else. Oh! He decided to get himself unstuck, did you see that? And now he's making a pickaxe to make a science machine. That move he did was so smart. Everything is now dead. Nothing can kill him now. He can chop and do whatever he wants in peace because all the monsters died. But there's just a pan flute there, which I'm pretty sure is an obnoxiously rare set piece. But I guess Woody's just gonna ignore that. He's too good at this game and doesn't need pan flutes. What are you, a bad player? You need to put the enemies to sleep so you don't die? Woody is laughing at you. Why did he stop? He's won over Wix somehow, I don't know how he did this. Let's see if he decides to make a torch or a campfire. Yeah, campfire is definitely the better move because he might freeze without one. And now he's cooking every single item that he gathered. He got full wetness now, so he might freeze soon if he ever leaves the campfire. Where are you going? You got scared by lightning, is that it? I think that was it. <laughs> Oh, that was bad. Will he even make it to day two? Or is lightning gonna kill him? Oh, he made it to day two. Wix couldn't even make it halfway past day one. This guy made it to day two. This is gonna be a hard bot to beat. 
He just walked past the pan flute. He's toying with us. He knows we want him to pick it up, and he just spawned a birch. <laughs> oh no, he ditched Lucy. Woody, no, that's what a betrayal. That's what you get for ditching Lucy, you idiot. Oh hey, we unlocked Wolfgang. I would make a Wes OP joke, but unfortunately I'm not 12, so instead I'm gonna watch Wes die in 12 seconds. 113 health. Wait, what the? He just made an axe. He could be one of those good players that just plays the worst character. It might be possible that this guy knows what he's doing. Pushes the knight out of the way, asserting his dominance on the world. He's walking into everything. He's fighting a spider. Uh oh. I think the calculus might get to him. It looks like he's gonna die soon. He's being chased by spiders, merms, and a hound. I didn't think bots could have an ego, but this guy proved me wrong. Tried to do a play by walking past the beehive, but ended up dying. Now it's time for probably the most interesting character. That being Maxwell. Because in this game... <laughs> Holy cow, guys, is that Wagstaff? They added Wagstaff to single player Don't Starve. That means he's coming to Don't Starve together in stores near you. Also, this blind idiot immediately got himself trapped. Either that or he's trying to do the AFK strat. Who really knows? I'm just gonna put on his glasses, so... How did that fix him? I gave him sight and then he realized he was trapped. He just did a science machine speedrun. By doing nothing. And now he's stuck again. <laughs> Everyone's doing the walk into something strategy. So we can wait out the time. And let everything around him die. Oh, that's not good. He's foraging a bunch of resources around this lake. I think he built a spawn base. He has some serious fear of leaving this science machine. He's abusing this one feature. Of running into the lake. He, he's on a mission to beat Woody. But I don't know if he can do it. Oh no! The science machine burnt. Realistically, he probably wasn't gonna use it anyway. So it's not the worst thing. Also, now he's not stuck anymore and he can gather stuff. What I find really strange is how all the first few characters either died immediately or crashed the game. But as we went along, they seem to have gotten smarter. Like, Wagstaff is better than Wix at this point. The only character who survived longer than him is Woody. And he did the stuck strategy. You know, maybe if this happened like twice, I'd be like, oh, that's just a bot being silly. But he did this thing five times, and it just so happens to be the best thing you could do. Is this guy alive? Maybe he's smarter than we think. Maybe Wagstaff has already hacked into your computer. He's seen everything that you have on there. Maybe we shouldn't be playing around with a mod like this. I don't like Wagstaff. What I wanted to say with Maxwell is that he's an interesting character because he spawns with weapons and armor. But then he killed himself and I couldn't really say that. But Wigfred also was the same thing, so... She could be a very interesting character. She just slaughtered a rook. Okay, um, calm down. Oh no, she just wants to fight stuff. Um, is it cheating if I put on her helmet? No, it's not. I don't think she even wants to win. I think she just wants to kill. Good god, this woman is as dangerous as the world around her. Just not having it. She will tank through everything. <laughs> All the other bots would have ran away by now. She's just tanking everything. Oh, don't kill the rook. No. No, don't do it. Stop it. Oh, it died anyway. Why, why Why is she not attacking the merms? Look, she wants to go for the hound, but like merms, she's fine with. Yeah. <laughs> Was that a failed high five? Why did you walk into that? <laughs> Stop walking into that merm. After all these hits, she still has 27%. A good quarter of the helmet left. And now everything is dead. Not because they killed each other, but because she killed them all. Including this bishop, or not. N now, now she's too low on health to fight, I guess. How did you dodge that? What? I don't get this person. I don't get this bot. She walks into the bishop and then walks away. Oh, helmet's gone. You're about to die. Oh, lucky Mandrake put them all to sleep. 
I don't know how that happened, but it did. She doesn't have her helmet anymore, so she can't tank things like an idiot anymore. She has to play this smart. Because... But screw Wigford, now it's time for Weber. Because interestingly enough, half the map is his allies. There's a lot of spider dens he could just hide in if he chooses to. So I'm interested to see how this goes. Okay, somehow he just walked through the middle of the danger and nothing aggro to him but a tall bird. This is just nice to look at, to walk in past everything while it all murders each other and no one pays him any attention. What a great sight. It's calming and peaceful. He's taking a walk through nature itself. God just saved him from picking that cactus. Oh, and oh, Weber actually got stuck. Well, it's the end of him. We've officially entered the realm of shipwrecked characters. This person looks like she's a modded character, but apparently this was a real tin made by Clay. Adding an anime girl to DST, why not? I think her perks are that she dries off faster. She also has a surfboard, which is useless in the Reign of Giants. Yeah, you can drop that, or you can pick it back up. Basically just a shipwrecked Wilson. Uh, there's not much to say, I hope she dies instantly. Yeah, get out of here. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like Warly. Especially him in single player. He whines about what he wants to eat the whole time. So now we get to watch him suffer in hell for his crimes. Now that I think about it, this is definitely the Don't Starve equivalent of hell. Like sure, you have a lot of resources if you play it right, but you're cursed with endless rain. And endless rain means you're always gonna be wet and freezing and anytime you try and g chop something, your axe is gonna fall out of your hand. So yeah, this is basically hell. I'm not really seeing that much suffering going on. Somehow, he has avoided everything. And I mean it this time, I don't see anything on the screen. Like sure, there's a few vault quotes, but what else is there? Oh, here's some spiders. No, he, he's just gonna walk away from that. Literally nothing around him that could kill him. He just got good world gen. I hope those vault quotes beat him to the ground. Oh, he challenged spiders for some reason. And now he decided to go the pacifist route after attacking them for no reason. Okay, he crafted a straw hat. That's the first time I've seen the bots do that. So, you know, well played. I have to give credit where it's due. That is a smart move. It is, in fact, raining, and the straw hat does protect you from rain. Oh, wow. He just walked into those bees. Oh, he's dead. Good. Finally, we can force the bot to play as a monkey. Yes, monkey is doing some good stuff. I think his name is like Wilbur or something, but ooh ah ooh, who cares about that? Oh, he tr he's trying to do the woody tactic, but unfortunately he did not do it in a safe spot. He missed that part. The last shipwrecked character is literally built to be played on water, and Reign of Giants has no water, so this will be an interesting playthrough. Why does his hit sound sound like he's yelling? He's screaming for help. We're in the home stretch now. There's only three Hamlet characters left, and it's time to see if any of them can beat Woody's record of a single day, which is proven to be very difficult to beat, apparently. Oh, he has cool green text. Why is he examining everything? Wait, why is there tall grass? What? He's manipulating the world around him. Wormwood is doing everything he can to win this. He's gonna become the best character at any cost. Even if that cost is chopping down his fellow plants. What are you doing, Wormwood? That's dangerous. Oh, he killed a hound. And now the beefalo was angry at him. Great job, Wormwood. You did this to yourself. You idiot. You're about to die. Friends don't like that. Stop caring about your friends, you're about to die. Alright, now it's Wheeler time. So Wheeler, I think, moves faster, but she has less inventory space. And that movement speed could mean everything. She already crafted an axe, literally a speedrunner by heart. She's trying to get every resource to beat Woody. I mean, Woody ch chopped a lot of trees, that's his thing. So if she just copies him, she will also make it to day one. That's a very logical thing to assume. She's gonna chop this tree to get logs, despite the fact that there was logs right there sitting on the floor. But who am I to judge? I, I suck at this game. I probably can't do this. This is the top level of play. No one can do this. No one is able to replicate what these guys are doing. Oh! Ooh, science machine. 
That's, that is very fast. Doesn't look like she's gonna craft anything or do anything with it. Wait. Oh my god. How has no one thought of this before? Use the touchstone, it was so obvious. Now even if she dies, she has a second shot. Okay, Wheeler might have a chance. Well, maybe not, but she's still technically alive. She's not out. Oh god, what was that? Wait, it's day two? Wait. Is this allowed? Uh, I, I guess this is the new time skip. The bot skipped its way to day two to beat Woody. Okay, this is the first bot that actually has a chance to beat Woody. And you picked the cactus, great. But yeah, I think we found the best character. Officially. I mean, how can you argue hard proof? You know, she just lasted the longest. Clearly something about this character makes them more OP than the rest. Everything looks to be dead as well, so she might not die for another good while. Yeah, I'm surprised. Like, even without the touchstone tactic, she's, she's lasting really long. Like, there's no reason to keep playing. She already won. But, you know, just the flex. They're gonna make it day three. Yeah, you gotta watch yourself. Yeah, maybe. You almost killed yourself picking twigs. Is it worth risking your life for a single twig? Because I don't think it is. Personally, I wouldn't do that. Well, she died, but... Uh, al already the best character by far. But wait, it's not over. Because there's one more powerhouse of a character that can beat Wheeler's record. That's right, the Wilbabot. I have saved the best for last. And, uh, uh, don't get hit there, that's bad. Where are you going? I mean, okay, technically, if you keep running, nothing can kill you. So that's not the worst idea. Unless you run into bees, don't starve single player bees are cruel. They will hit you. If you go anywhere near them, they will hit you. Yeah, compared to the other characters, Wilba isn't doing too great. She did get a torch. I don't think any of the characters have done that. Maybe she'll burn some stuff, commit some arson. That's always fun. Oh, I guess the world did that for her. Wait a second, she's doing the legendary torch strategy. Using a torch when you don't need it. This could be the character. They know what's going on, they're gonna win. I have high hopes for Wilba. Oh god. No, don't stand there, no, no, no. You took some fire damage and now you have 11 health. A hit from anything will kill you now. Oh no, stop picking cat. Okay, no, 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 no. now that I have this tier list, I can definitively say that Wheeler is the best and Maxwell is the objectively worst character you could ever possibly pick. And if you disagree, I will ban you from my channel.